Welcome to the Brothers Random Show. My name is Travis. I'm Michael. And we are two ordinary brothers discussing extraordinary ideas and some random shit. So the topics on our show are normally are going to uh, go vary from theology, masculinity, movies, philosophy, books, pop culture, and many other subjects. We will be talking about people we admire and the wisdom that they share, people uh, such as uh, Jordan B. Peterson, who we believe is the sage of our time. This is a special bonus episode because the sage of our time is being attacked. Michael, why don't you explain a little bit of it? Yeah, so I was kind of surprised to hear this, but the college, it's called the College of Psychologists of, our, of Canada have basically are putting Jordan Peterson under review to be able to take away his license to practice as a psychologist in the in Canada. This is a huge issue. Um, one is they're doing it because of political things, um, not nice things that he has said on Twitter. Uh, they're, they, they, they call into a bunch of what, what he's done and, in, and they tell him what it is, you know, they, they, they state a lot of them to him. And some of it is just, I think one of the places they said it was his whole three hours that he did with Joe Rogan. So everything he said there was, was reprehensible and does not, is not supported by and, the psychologists of Canada. Well, and what's weird about this is that it, it almost has nothing to do with psychology. It's all political. So it's his 100%. political. Yeah, it's 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 not like he's giving bad psychological advice. He's giving good psychological advice, but because uh everything's political now, they're coming to attack him. They're trying to take away his license because of his political views. Well, think about this. Think about this. The The College of Psychologists is kind of a board. It's a, almost a government-ran board. Yeah, okay. That that oversees. Now, these, these are good things in a sense to have because, I mean, obviously, you want to be able to take somebody's license away uh, if they are – let's let's say somebody's you know having sex with their patients or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah, like something. there's there's things you that are kind of under the realm of like you should be able to do that uh to to kind of um oversee what goes on within people who have licenses in psychology right yeah so the, this isn't necessarily a bad thing but one is it kind of is quasi ran by the government that's one. The other is, is that they're mostly doing it. A huge portion is that he, because he tweeted out the conservative opposition in Canada, he, in support of, of the that, conservative yeah. opposition against Justin Trudeau, right? So it's, it really is basically we're, we're like in real time seeing a, a kind of, draconian re regime it's, yes. it's basically it, it's we're we're we don't like what you're doing as a government and we are going to crack down on you and this yeah and they, and they don't have free speech laws like we have and 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 in the united states the united states is very unique in that because they they cannot take our way our freedom of speech they are trying really hard to take away our freedom of speech. I mean, Twitter has banned tons of people. And now that it's owned by Elon Musk, they're all mad about it because of this, you know, and Jordan. Peterson I do feel like there is a precipice that's happening here. Like when, if, if, if this goes down and Jordan is going to publicize all of it, a mm -hmm. uh, couple things though, like he doesn't, let's be honest. He doesn't really need his license, license. anymore he's, he's not he's, really practicing anymore i listened to jp to um uh, jp sears uh, he was talking about this but basically he's grown out of the needing to do uh, uh practicing one-on-one -on -one anymore right 
Yeah. Now, the thing is, is and Jordan Peterson with his interview with uh, Michaela Peterson, he talks about this is that if he were to let this happen, it's not that he necessarily needs it, but he would be allowing them to take it away, which is not OK. Right. So yeah. so him fighting this, I 100 percent support, because not only if this happens in Canada, I do feel like this will set a precedent for this to start happening in in the United States. The United yeah. States. I even I though we have a we that have not a, being a thing. Even though we have a specific law that says our uh, uh, rights to speech will not be infringed. There, there, there will be. We have a specific law that's pointing towards that, whereas most other countries don't. So, so you don't. You don't have this in England and you don't have it in, in Canada and you sure as hell well, don't have it in like China the, and, 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 and uh, if it comes to America, places. if it comes to America, the argument will be, the argument's going to be, I just know how they're, I can just foresee what they're going to do. The argument will be, oh, we don't care. You can, you can say whatever you want, but we just aren't going to let you practice yeah. psychology. We're yeah. just we're gonna take that or, away. Or or you know, YouTube channel or right, you know, podcasting or like let's find all the ways that we can silence what whatever the speech is. Like we should not be like even nice, even things that are just reprehensible are still protected under speech rights. Like even if you're the worst person in the world and you want to go on the internet and spread hate, you have the right to do that as long as it's just words and they're not doing anything action, any actionable. And I mean, there are liability laws. I guess that's a, a whole nother thing, but, but he's not uh, libeling anyone. He's he's said some things. Well, like, Nate, their argument is is that he is because he he um uh he got after Elliot and Ellen Page, the Elliot that's, Ellen I, Page thing. Yeah, that's that a, was that, that's that a was a whole rail that we don't want to get thing. into. But. Well, that's just I just I feel like it is very important. This is something this very important for us to be supporting him on, but also watching. Because this is going to kind of set a precedence, and I, I, my hope is, is that that would never come here to America, and it would never, you know, uh, yeah. affect, because because we have boards similar to this, I believe, uh, in America. Yeah, yeah the so, psychological boards. Yeah. Yes. So so them calling people who have a psychology license to practice as uh, psychotherapists, psychologists uh, could be called into question due to, and this, it's a huge problem because there are plenty of conservatives that still need to go see, seek psychological help yeah. with psychologists, right? So, yeah, but you don't want to go to needed. a psychologist that doesn't share your values. So if you're going to go to a psychologist, if all of them are being forced to do something that's not – that doesn't align with your values as a conservative, then you don't have anybody to go to. It, yeah, it becomes – yeah, it could – it could. this could be bad. This could be very, very bad for the whole, um, well, a whole Western I guess, society. Industry. Yeah, yeah. Western society. It's it's compelling speech. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get him to say sorry for the things he said. They're they're gonna make him take a, a class. They want him to take a media, yeah. what is it, a media uh uh retrain. So um yeah, media retraining, I think. Or, so yeah, two hundred and forty two hundred and twenty-five dollar an hour charge for him to pay for his own retraining class yeah, yeah. What? that that could go on for they don't they, they for no uh, an unspecified amount of time so and jordan even mentions he's just like 
this is not going to hurt me. 25, you know, $225 an hour is not going to hurt me, but there are, there are, uh, uh, practicing psych- psychiatrists out there psychologists that would be very hurt by yeah, having fine. to pay something like this mm. a fine yeah. and if and they basically if if he were to say or if somebody were unable to pay this and go to this this training then basically their their license is forfeit and they can't yeah. practice anymore. They can't practice. So w- and, he's basically saying that, well, and, and and the argument is to be made that he doesn't need the license anymore. It's a it's about the it's it's about the principle, the yes. principle of them coming after him for things that he said that don't align with the narrative that they want. As a because I don't know if anybody even knows, but like the truckers situation yeah. that happened almost a year ago now um, uh, in Canada, it was basically a situation where um, they wanted to get rid of the lockdowns and all that kind of stuff. And people couldn't provide for the family. So the truckers did a protest and they shut down most of Canada. And there was something similar that happened in the United States, but it didn't make as big a news. But the thing was, is that because Justin Trudeau was, angry about the whole situation he ended up getting rid of their access to their bank accounts yeah and And they took they took their gofundme and their gofundme and so basically any way that they could make money off of what they were while they're in this protest so 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 imagine this happens in the united states we have the right in the united states to protest that this is we mm-hmm. it should not be infringed so if there's something that our government's doing that we don't like and we get together a bunch of people and we protest well and then that government takes away our ability to have our money that is scary that is beyond scary okay yeah this is this yeah. is how the nazi regime got what do you call it um the, 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 this is the beginnings of a Nazi regime, right? That's what it yeah. feels like. That's what it, yeah. It feels like totalitarianism at its at, at its yeah worst. at its worst. Yeah. Yeah. It it it. So essentially, what we're trying to say is that the that people need a people in Canada because we don't really have a lot. We can't do much in the United States for Canada Canadians, but people in Canada who are listening need to rally and. And get behind this because what's happening is your rights are slowly being chipped away, right? So the trucker protests are one example. This is another example. These these are the people who are not going with the norms of the country, and they have they have their own ideas, they have their own beliefs, and the and the government's cracking down and trying to make them do what they want. And this is. And this is what they're doing to Jordan Peterson. And, you know, the, if you're a psychiatrist or psychologist in, in, in Canada, you really, this, this should freak you out. You should be calling your, your representatives, uh, your government representatives, and you should be basically fight, helping fight against the. Yeah. This is, this is the hill that, yeah, that people need to fight on. Uh, especially in the psychologist psychiatrists community seriously got need to be able to stand up and even even if you don't agree with jordan peterson politically it really does seem nefarious i mean correct me if i'm wrong doesn't it 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 seems so nefarious that a kind of governing body could would try and attack somebody and take away what could be it's not jordan peterson's livelihood but what could be somebody's livelihood yeah because of their political stance right yeah. because of their political belief right and and let's 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 be honest with people who don't agree politically with 
their psychologist go to a different psychologist right just yeah vote with your dollar go to a different psychologist but but for that psychologist to have their yeah livelihood being being called into question just because they have a a differing political belief is is completely insane well and this is kind of how nazi germany started it didn't people think that nazi germany happened right like all at once it it started very small where they were they got into the parties they got into the political power and then they started slowly taking away people's freedoms they started cracking down on 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 free speech they started taking away uh the right to bear arms they started doing these little things that just chips away at a at a democracy at, at liberty essentially mm-hmm. and this is yeah. we're seeing it happen in canada canada you the at the rate that they're going they will be a totalitarian regime within the decade if, if they're they keep, not if, if they they're keep, not careful if, the, yeah. if if something doesn't stop them if something doesn't yeah. stop them that's that's where it's going yeah because i mean um you know a, a block of wood justin Trudeau is is uh got uh, he's pretty much holding the country hostage i mean he's yeah so anyway yeah. hopefully they get him out of office hopefully things turn out better for uh jordan peterson it's um like we said he doesn't need the license it's it's the principle they're yeah. they're coming after him yeah and it's a president's so yeah. if they do it to if they do it to him you can basically say i mean if it if it all goes through on him then one i think he would be done with canada he'd probably yeah. never go back yeah right and he even said on when it, his interview with uh, michaela his daughter michaela peterson he even said like i'll go get licensed in florida yeah right like yeah, yeah. it 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 and and then he, it, that would probably be the end of it. He probably would never go back to Canada, yeah, right? But not no everybody point. has, not every Canadian has that option. One, and also if it happens in in Canada, like you better bet that that many of the states would follow suit. Yeah. Would the would the whole U.S. government follow suit? Mm, probably not. Even even if they did, I could imagine that. Uh, there's going to be a bunch there'd of be governors back. like there'd be governors like DeSantis that would just you know screw you yeah. and we're not we're not going to comply with this but but you'd probably have New York and California they'd all be like oh yeah Canada did this so we're going to do it too and then you just have more people fleeing those yeah. those blue states into into red states which it's kind of already happening it's already happening <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, this has been yeah. um a special bonus episode. We just thought we'd get the word out on our thoughts on on this situation. It it it's really bad. It's it's it, it, you're right. It does set a bad precedence for that whole country. And if you're Canadian and you're conservative, you should be considering getting out. I mean, if this goes through, if Jordan Peterson can't fight this off, if if a man who has three be- two bestsellers and is widely known all over the country cannot fight against that, then a little person, somebody just doing a practice out of their house or what you know, whatever, they've got no fucking chance. They've got no chance. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll wrap that up. Uh, this is just a bonus episode. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, Have a nice day.